Yes! That's awesome! What? So in this seven minute video, I'm going to show you how to take this image and stretch it to look like this with content aware scale and a couple of other methods. Then we're gonna apply a color treatment. And then as a bonus, we're gonna figure out how to quickly convert that to a dramatic black and white image like this. Several ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you, and remember before I do anything, I always hit Command or Control J to duplicate my layer. So the first approach, would be to use the content aware scale, which you can find in the edit menu down to content aware scale. And essentially it auto scales to the aspect ratio, right? So it's adding sky, ground, it's adding everything. I don't wanna do that. I actually wanna distort it a bit by stretching it. So I'll hold down the shift key to walk away from the aspect ratio. And this works really good for just small, small adjustments, especially if there's a lot of organic grass and such. I'll hit enter, I'll go up to image and reveal all to see all that I did. And it did a nice job. It stretched out her stuff back here. It protected her a bit, which is great. Let me extend it a little more. Edit, content aware scale. Now, if you have people, you can actually click this people icon and it will try to protect whatever Photoshop detects is a person. Hold down the shift key while I drag it over a little more. And it did a really good job of protecting her. Notice how it didn't stretch anything. She still looks like the same aspect ratio. And what I'll do is I'll click image, Reveal all. Yeah, I like where this is going. Now it's keeping her centered in the composition, which may have some aesthetic issues for me. If I wanna leave the content aware scale, I'll hit, uh, I'll hit the command minus key a couple times. And then I'll select M for the marquee and I'll select this area here. Hit command or control J to duplicate it to its own layer. See, and then I will hit command or control T, right click inside of it and choose flip horizontal. Then I'll hold my shift key, so it will drag exactly straight across. When I see the magenta line, I know it's lined up, I'll let go. I'll click enter. And again, I have to go back up to image and reveal all. And I really like that. I'll hit V for the move tool, see if I need to touch that down one pixel. Looks like I did. So here's where we get that repetitive stuff that looks Photoshop. So let's try to fix that. First, I need to compress all these layers to the same layer. So this is my favorite punch the keyboard key shortcut, Command, Option, Shift, Letter E. So now everything is compressed to the top layer and that technique works whether it's three layers, 300 or 3000. Now I can treat this image as its own thing. Command and Control zero to fit in the screen. I'll choose the spot removal tool. That might be a good one. That's not doing too bad. I'm just trying to break up some of the, the mirrored patterns that our eyes will detect and like, ooh, that's been Photoshopped. Make my right bracket key so my brush will be bigger. Now, if you start getting these little blurry things, I'll hit Command Z to back up a touch because I don't like what that did. I'll hit S for the rubber stamp, hold down the Alt or Option key, and I'll just kind of randomly paint whatever I see is mirrored just so it's not mirrored in the same way. I'm gonna have to actually come up here Get rid of that whole area. Maybe I'll put some of this grass here. Maybe I'll grab some grass from way over here. So do you see how it's not perfect, but you can see how it's it's getting there. So now I'm actually creating repeat, repeated patterns. You've always got to be careful of that. Let me get rid of some of this. So now I have my image stretched and I like where it's going. So now I want to add my own color treatment. I'll hit Command or Control J so that I'm not working on my new original. And I like to go up to Adobe Camera Raw, which has the same power and processing of the develop module in Lightroom. Like Adobe has said, it's literally the same engine under the hood of two different cars. Now, what would I like to do? I think I want to give it a more blue cast, more dramatic. I'd raise that clarity, even though you typically don't do that with most uh, portraits. Pull up the dehaze a little bit. I like the feeling of this. Now, maybe I would hit the adjustment brush right here so I could come back and maybe take some of the blue off of the person. Now, if you have sticky settings, which if you've used Adobe Camera Raw before, it always remembers the last thing you did. To reset all these automatically, just idea, identify what it is you wanna do. I think I wanna add a little yellow here. So click on the plus yellow side. It'll go to plus 25 and it resets everything else. It auto chooses new. And then our left bracket key works here. So I can come back and just warm up her skin tone a little bit. Left bracket key for a little smaller. Then we'll pull it way yellow to see what I've missed. Okay, I didn't miss a lot. Went a little bit outside of. So if you go out, see the arm right here. Should have been. I should have zoomed in to do this painting. But now you can see how bad my painting is. Is auto mask on? Yeah, auto mask is on. So let's try that again. See if I can do a little better. 
If this is for Instagram, you probably wouldn't notice. Got in her dress a little bit. But if this is going to be a big print, you would definitely want to zoom in and, and handle this. And then for everywhere that you you went out of bounds a little bit. So okay, let's her shoulder. Everywhere you went out of bounds just a little bit, you have an eraser tool. So I'm going to click on that. Make my brush smaller with the left bracket key. And just come in and erase, you know, where I over painted. Seems like I, yep, there's some down right here by her dress. Seems like there was some over here. Make my brushes a touch bigger. So the edge will be softer. Fix that. Go back to add, because I see that little blue spot. Command or control zero to fit in the screen. Let me click on this. I think I want to pull that yellow back, obviously. I just wanted to warm it up a tiny bit and then maybe make her just a touch brighter. I don't want to blow out any of those highlights. Maybe I can make her shadows a bit, a bit brighter as well. And again, this is just a balance, an aesthetic balance. So I'll go back to the basics panel and I will choose the effects tab and add a post crop vignette just to really focus our eye. And it looks like I've still got that one pixel problem up there. I'll fix that in a minute. I'll click OK. See for the crop tool. Come down just a touch. Enter. I'll hit tab to hide everything except the image. Nice. So here is where we are now. And here's our stretch, which I like this image also. But this is a nice interpretation. Pardon me. Did someone say, please convert this to black and white? So fit that in the window. So even though my intention maybe to, is to end up with this color version, but also what if my final intention is to end up with a black and white conversion? Sometimes it works better to create exaggerated effects with color and then use the black and white adjustment layer, giving you access to all those color channels. So now I can create a bit of drama brighten up her skin, darken the background just a touch, command alt shift letter E, duplicate it. Why don't we throw on just for effect, a blur, Gaussian blur, and really blur that sucker. Yep. And then choose soft light as your blend mode. And now I have this nice dreamlike kind of romantic feel. I'm, I probably want to lower the opacity a bit because that's a little, a little extreme. What do you think? Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Yes. Go watch another video of mine. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my god, I did. Is this is bad. Is this is bad. You should pull that out. I should <laughs>